Hello there, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. We're we'll playing some more career mode. Gonna try to do some more contracts and stuffs. Maybe get into space again. Who knows? Maybe build a space plane today. Hmm. Probably not. We don't have the parts for that that we actually need. But uh, we do have a few missions here we could be doing. So let us do that. And uh, I want to apologize for my voice if it sounds a little rough. I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. So that's uh, that's great. Mainly because I can't really afford to come down with a cold. I need to work and I need to talk and I need to do stuff. Because my job involves lots of talking. And uh, this job involves lots of talking too. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, what are we going to do? Well, let's check out our missions. So we have... Actually, we can, I think we can check them out in here, can't we? Yes, I believe we can. What the hell is that? Oh, I think that's the uh, staging thing. Alright, what do we got? Transmitter recovered data from space. Yeah, we can do that. Just gotta get an orbit. Test the engine while landed. We can do that. Test the other la engine while landed. Okay. Test a uh, <clears throat> uh, booster in flight at a ridiculous height. Great, sounds good. Test the decoupler. Okay. Another thing in flight. And another thing in flight. And then rescue the different orb. Alright, so uh, we're gonna do one quick little test to get all of these, uh, these guys. Uh, the ones where we test them while landed. So you're no landed, landed. That's in flight, in flight, and in flight. All right, so we got three of them. So what do we need? We need a uh, well. First, we need a cockpit, and let's put uh, somebody other than. All oh, right, Jeb's dead. Um, oops. Is Jeb dead? I honestly can't remember. I feel like Jeb's dead. He died in like the first mission, didn't he? Yeah, pretty sure he did. I'll well, we'll check real quick. Lost. Yeah, that happens a lot, doesn't it? I wonder, is there like a <clears throat> a stat somewhere for how many times Jeb dies in the first mission of anybody's first game? Or like first flight or whatever? Anyways, uh, crew, let's get... Uh, sure, we'll put Bill in there. He's nice and stupid. Actually, no, Bill is... Bill, your, your skills will be needed elsewhere. We will need you when you go into orbit. Your stupidity is the only thing that will get us up there. So let's uh, get Murbro. Do it, Murbro. Alright, so we needed... Oh. Are these things highlighted? That's pretty damn cool. They're actually highlighted, so I'm, I'm guessing these are the things that I need to test. Yeah, do I even have a 9? I do have a 909. So why is that not highlighted? Test LV-909 land. Yeah, okay. That's weird. Maybe only one thing per category gets highlighted. Like per engines, you only get one thing. Cause... No, that makes no sense. Because, I mean, you'd be able to use any sort of engine that you want. Alright, whatever. Let's uh, just get going because we're wasting time. So we need one of you. That's a little ridiculous, but whatever, that'll do. Uh, I am going to need a parachute on here. Because we will want to bring you back down. Actually, no, we don't need a parachute. What am I talking about? We don't We don't need to do anything. We need, do we even, I guess we need fuel, technically. And we'll do one of those. Hmm... I don't want to waste parts, like, I don't want to have to use a decoupler. Yeah, but I think I might as well, I mean... Yeah, might as well. It doesn't make sense not to use a decoupler. So we're just gonna do, uh... We don't even need the big tank. We don't, like, we don't need anything on this thing. So we'll do that, and that. And then we need a one of these other guys. Sure. Some more fuel, because can we even fire the engine without fuel? <clears throat> I don't know, that makes no sense. Why am I even asking such a dumb question? 
All right, so we have the coupler and the two engines that we need to test. Uh, cool. Let's do it. Actually, I'm gonna change these around a little bit. Put you up there, do that. I don't know if it'll make a difference when it's sitting on the launch pad, but I feel like this is more stable. So we'll go with that. And I don't, it doesn't matter. Test crap, whatever. We don't need a name. We don't have to name everything. It's fun though. Okay, so launch and let's see what happens. And yes, a little bit of snifflies. I'm sorry. It sucks getting a cold, man, especially in the summertime. The, the weather's finally getting nice up here in Canada. It's been an absolutely garbage summer. Up until about a couple weeks ago, it's been like 20 degrees Celsius and below. We barely had any days where it's actually been really nice and warm. And it's finally getting nice and warm, and I'm catching a cold. Amazing. Sorry about that, I just had to uh, clear my throat. And pff, clearly didn't do anything. Alright, let's just get going. So, we have... Um, okay, let's just do it... Let's do you first. I guess we don't actually need any... Uh... Whoa. Oh, that's cool, you can actually see in there. I've never actually done that. I wonder if you can... No, you, you can't, right? Because that's an object. You can't actually send a curvel up there. It'd be cool if you could, though. I'm sitting underneath while they get... They get cooked. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we don't actually need throttle at all, because these should just fire. So, go. Alright, that's one complete. And now, no, we need decoupler next. So, we'll have you go. Did that go? That didn't go. Go now. There we go. Cool, and we're slightly off balance, but that's fine. And there's contract three complete. Great. Mm, we're done. Let's recover and get the hell out of here. And we should get 100% of the value back since we haven't left the launch pad or anything like that. And, uh, oh, I guess, oh yeah, I was going to say we got science, but yeah, we did get science for surviving a flight. And we have 100% of the value back, perfect. Crew is back, everything's back. I like how you get reputation for just hanging out on the launch pad. Okie dokie. And then... So we completed this contract. 300 rep. That is rep. No, that's gold. Or money. Or... Uh, my buddy Sporks thinks it's a root symbol. I... I guess I see that. He still looks like a VF to me, but... You know, I can see the root symbol. I don't know what that little thing is, though. Anyways, uh... Yeah, and then 27 data. And some rep. And some more of the same, and then basically more of the same. Okay, well, those contracts are done. Do we have anything else interesting? Explore the moon. Yep, that's something we want to do. Test small gear bay orbiting curb. That's so dumb. That's <laughs> just... Why would you ever use a gear, like a landing gear for an airplane in orbit? Well, whatever, I guess you're testing things, so sure, why not? Do we even have the small gear? Is it here? Um, I kind of wish you could search for things. It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, small gear, but we don't even have it yet. Stupid mission control. Mm -hmm. Test the hydraulic attachment. What? Um, what? <laughs> Is this not the hydraulic detach? No, that's, the okay, never mind. Never mind, I'm an idiot. For a second there, I thought this was the thing I wanted me to test in, in flight, which, yeah. Would have made no sense. Uh, what is the hydraulic detachment manifold? See, like, here, let me search for that thing. Well, whatever it is, I have a feeling I don't have it. Um, structural fuselage. Here it is. Oh, it's one of the sites, one of the radio things. Okay, well, we don't have that either, so screw you. Oh, we could do a radio decoupler. 
Yeah, we'll do this one because we can just do that when we uh, when we just launch. Test the parachute. Is this the correct parachute? I want to make sure because some this game likes to give you missions for things that you don't have yet. So mark sixteen parachute. Okay, good. So we could do that one. What is the condition? Altitude eighteen. I mean, I guess we'll take it. And then we'll leave the other ones for later. Alright, so let's build a ship that'll get us into orbit and we'll complete some of these other missions. Ah. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's gross. Gross, guy. God, I hate being sick so much. Anyways, uh, let's dump all this crap because we don't need it. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. So, what are the missions that we have? Uh, yep, that on orbit. We gotta get to orbit. We gotta do the parachute. Solid fuel booster. That is this one. So, we gotta use that one. Where do we have to use that one? At 20. <laughs> okay, at 20 kilometers. Honestly, I'm tempted to just build a ship that will do these two so I can get rid of these damn missions because these are so dumb. In flight over Kerbin. Okay, let's so let's try. We're not gonna go into war, but we're gonna do these quick little tests again. So now I'm all landed. Uh, which one is that? The TT70. TT70. Okay, that one. Is this how they do it in uh, in real life? They just kind of like, yeah, we gotta test this part, so let's throw something together that tests all these random things. And. RT-10. I'm guessing that's the other booster. That one, okay. And then the parachute. Yeah, so we got that booster, we got that booster, we got that decoupler, and... Wait, the TT-70 while landed, right? Okay, so what's the other one while... Wait. Oh, okay. That threw me off. That looks like the hydraulic attachment manif but it's, it's not. Um... TT-70 while landed, TT-38K, okay, so this one, so that one in flight, that one while landed, okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, we also need a parachute, so we shall put one of use on there, man, sorry about that, uh, random sneeze that didn't want to come out, I'll probably just end up, like, editing it out, so there won't be just random, like, five, ten second pauses every once in a while, but yeah, it's annoying. Anyways, so yeah, we need the parachute, we need... We're going to need a decoupler. Where are you, my decoupler friend? There you go, you get your butt on there. Alright, how the hell are we going to do this? I'm kind of just thinking about doing this. So, hooking that up like that and seeing what happens. The only problem is, like, if I don't get to this altitude, I should be fine. And if not, it's it's that's why we're doing tests, right? Okay, um, you're gonna need a decoupler as well. We will toss one of you on there. And then I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna put three of these guys on here. Okay, so we should be able to get up to the height the speed should be fine, hopefully, I don't know. This one, though. 5200 to 6500. So we basically gotta hope that these three can get us up to that height and that speed. It's not, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna get us up to 280 meters a sec. There's no way. It might, but it probably won't. So... I'm going to uh, be even sillier and do some more of them. Aha, okay, cool. And then we're gonna just, I don't know, kind of plop this guy on. Wait, hold on, which one's the one we need to test on the launch pad? We have to test the GT70, which is this one, okay. So we will put you just kind of on the side there and you're gonna pop off, I guess. Do we need anything attached to it? I don't think so. Uh, 
and let's just put it there so it's closer to the ground. I don't think we need anything attached to it. <clears throat> Excuse me, again with the throat clearing. Oh, this is annoying. I was hoping to record all day today too, but if this is what my voice is gonna sound like. Ugh, alright. I'm actually curious, I don't... Like, what's gonna happen if I hit spacebar? I don't know. Okay, and the other one... In flight... At basically the same altitude as this. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, just because I don't know... What's gonna happen... I'm actually going to attach a parachute to this. If I can. Is that attached? Yeah, I guess it is. It just looks like it's clipping. So yeah, I'm gonna attach a parachute to that. I know it's expensive. Parachutes tend to be. Uh, but then that's gonna... Pop off. Yeah, that, that should pop off with the parachute and it should save it. I don't know. Is, is that a waste? I think that's a waste. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here because I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so we got that. That goes together. I got the first three of the fire, then nothing pops, and these three fire. We're actually gonna fire everything at once. I don't care if they all get damaged. They're gonna get destroyed anyways. Um no, you need to be at a separate stage. So and then you need to fire at the same time as that. And then these pop off, and then that goes does, does this thing, and then that works. Okay. Um I don't know. Let's see what happened. Booster testing. We got Bill back in there. Yep, we got Bill back in the cockpit. And uh, let's go. Let's see what happens. Like I just said. Oh god, these damn sniffles, man. I'm gonna have to go uh, take care of this. I'm gonna have to go to the drugstore and get myself some some drugs. I think I got some some stuff to help out, but nothing that'll clear my voice out. To go pick up some halls or something. Anyways, um, we had to do something on the launch pad, right? Pew! That was exciting. Can I rescue that thing now? Just so we get rid of it. What happened to the stuff that was on the launch pad before? All right, because when I decoupled, that was. With the previous craft, that would have been one of the craft would have been uh, like detached. It would have become a separate craft. Did that automatically get recovered when I landed? When I sent up a new craft, or when I sent this thing there? I don't know. But anyways, we completed one more of the contract, so that's great. And let's get going. It looks like it doesn't actually leave anything on the ship. I was actually, I was a little worried about that that it would unbalance things, but it didn't. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, we're going to have to hope this booster does its thing. We don't need any throttle because we don't have any throttle. Let's go. And all we have is the SAS inside here, which is not so great. And I'm really just hoping that. This thing is tilting. No. No. Oh, news. I can't control it. Um, okay. Well, that's kind of shitty. Hopefully we can... Yeah, see, I was afraid of that. But hopefully we should get the speed that we need to at least complete this contract. As long as we don't tip over, it's fine. Come on. 5200... Speed 280. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. Bam. Contract complete. Or not. Crap. Well, I messed that up, but why didn't that complete? Why did I not get the, uh, the check marks? Hmm. I'm kind of confuzzled. Well, we're going to try to rescue Bill, because, you know, it's Bill. Oh, God. This thing. Come on, baby. I know you got it. it's just a booster, but you can you can do it. You can you can't do it. It's not happening. 
Okay, you need to uh, not be accelerating straight towards the ground. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> okay, well, let's get rid of that at least. Oh, Jesus, Bill. I'm sorry, man. You're going straight into the water. Can we get you out of there before you hit the ground? <laughs> not quite. Not, not quite. Um, bit of a mishap there. We basically made a ballistic missile that headed directly into the water. So that's great. That was good. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. Um, go join Jeb. I think Jeb crashed in the water too. Or maybe he crashed on the ground. I can't remember. But yeah, why, <clears throat> why did that not complete? That's, uh, I had the altitude and I had the speed. Hmm, it might be because I was coming back down. I don't know, but that didn't work too well. Did we lose any money out of that? No, I can't can't tell. I think we made a little bit of money because we had the uh, uh, the thing what's called the one contract complete. I'm actually going to double up on this because I I don't know. I think that might have affected it a little bit. We're just going to double up there. Yeah, that might have caused it to tilt over this little bit of... A little bit of um, off-balancing. Do we even have SAS? Yeah, we don't even have SAS. That's the problem. Can I get an SAS? I do love the 64-bit, uh, though. One of the, one of the best things about it, I think, is the loading times. Or how short they are. Oh, amazing. Uh, maze balls. Yeah, that's 45. Oh, we can get it. Okay, let's do it. So we can get the SAS there, which means we can probably do this same flight. I'm going to attempt the same flight, same ship anyways. Or almost the same ship. Uh, we're going to put the SAS here. Right in there. And boost testing mark tools. Okay, let's save and let's launch. And we are actually going to launch in the next episode. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. You know, if you did, as always, well, you know what to do with them comments and them likes down below. Uh, if you have any ideas for things you want to see me do in KSP, you know, same place. So, uh, yeah, again, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.